This part we're going to talk about some of the stands, and we're going to bring many stands to you, but right now this is some of the basic uh, stands that, that you'll need to get started with. Some of the concrete blocks, of course, that you see uh, that we're using is just a standard 8 inch, 8 inch block. We have a short, what we call a short stand in our school, a regular setup, and I'm going to get to that as far as the blocks underneath, and a taller uh, setup. Of course, uh, getting back to our short, short end over here, we have these painted up, and we'll talk about that uh, later also. Uh, but this would be for more of a short to a power break where we could, get, we could get low and get everything down to our power point. Uh, also, of course, would be used for any stomping that we would do. We would use a low, a low stand, and myself uh, being shorter, um, we don't need them to get them uh, too high because that's going to affect you as far as your height on how these stands need to be set up, and, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But here we could use, of course, through a stomp, through our block caps or whatever material you chose to use. And as we stand them right back up, we can still do a stomp or an axe kick. Or if I stack, when I break several boards, I like stacking them on these low stands, what we call a low stand, one single block, um, to get me a good momentum down and be at my power point, uh, being as short as I am. We always like to have, as you see here, the solids facing your crowd or your, or your, or your judges if you're at a tournament. Um, just for the solidness looking and the strength that it, that it appears and that it, it represents up here versus all the holes turned around and being all uh, crooked. Very important as you set up that these are straight and in line. We wouldn't want, for instance, uh, we wouldn't want half the block if the camera would zoom in on that uh, sticking over like this. Of course, again, safety uh, is our main concern. This wants to be supported and in the center of our support in your block. This next size up, uh, I, I use these stands also myself, but it's coming up just, in a, on just to show a selection uh, to our judges or to the crowd that you're demonstrating your school out in front of, uh, just to have some different stuff, but also for stability and strength, as I mentioned. Uh, the bigger breaks, bigger people in your school, are going to need as we're going to go up the higher levels. Here also the shot, the chop that we demonstrated would be used. The palm strike that we talked about can be used for this stand. But also keep in mind to make a mental note that this isn't. We're going to stack as many as you can break on here, so this is going to come up higher. So if this comes up here, we of course need to move these out and go back to our lower stand to get the maximum input input that we need into the concrete or we're going to be up here and our PowerPoint is going to be down here. Um, it's not going to be a successful break or demonstration or win uh, at a tournament. And that's what we're there for to do, of course, is to train you uh, how to go into some of these competitions. And with some of my knowledge that I've gained over the many years in competing, to uh, maybe give you that, that much of a little bit more of a shortcut. But here's uh, what we call a regular stand in our school, solids always to the, to the front, stability and strength. As we go up to these type higher stands, we would use these for what we, what we call our back elbow or a forward power elbow this way. And again, the height is because if we're coming up to upper body parts and we need to get to stand up to get our maximum striking point and power point at the necessary spot. So that's why the stands are higher and again, all supported, all even, uh, and support itself for strength. The short stands, of course, the shorter people, shorter stands. And again, we need a selection when you go out in front of these judges because myself, being a fifth degree uh, black belt and a master myself, I've seen uh, many, many elbows and, and chops. And, and later on in, in another segment, we're going to bring you some more setups that we have to, uh, you're going to have to use your head and, and be thinking of innovative ways uh, to bring stakes to some of these demos and, and judges. So these are just a few, three basic stands. If we had a taller student, you might be asking, well, what about my instructor? He's three feet high, higher than Master Osala. Well, then we just would add another block, leave the base for stability, add another block for someone, someone tall, uh, and um, make them, of course, where their power point and their striking point would be accurate for their body. Because we have to remember, every body is, is different. Every body functions different. They can't all be, be me, of course. But we're going to give you some shortcuts, some tips, and we're going to show you some more stands here in a minute. Um, remember, these are our basic stands. 
short, our regular, our tall for our height, and set up this way for, for strength, for stability, um, and so we can again perform these techniques safely.